Okay, let's look at content in this session. So I've got my interface open here and we know how we're going to make quads. So I just click the little quad button in the corner. So let me just add a few here so we can see. So there's a square, a triangle, and let's add a circle. Excellent, let's move them across. Okay, wonderful. So let's pop over to the left where we have another series of icons. And if I just click the one in the middle, this is the stacker icon. So if I move these across, you can't really see it at the moment, but if I move these across, these will stack on top of each other and I can move the order. So I could have the square at the top and that's the most visible. I could have the circle at the back, for example. That'll become much more evident when we have content to see. So I just select the little content bin at the top and this is what I'm faced with. So first of all, I have my base. So you can see that's um, the tab I've got at the top and that's selected. And I'm just looking down and I'm just looking at different types of content. So I've just clicked the little green squiggly thing. So that now has put that content to my um, quad. If I go down where it says content pack, I can see different types of content that I have. So I've got user content, which is mine. I've got the retail content, which is the one that I was given free when I downloaded and bought the app. So I could have a sale, for example. Um, do you know I'm going to stick with my home. What else have I got in here? So again, these are all pre-made. These come pre-existing um, inside of the app. So yeah, quite a lot in there. So we've got some images. Um, we've got some videos. This I, I, I like this one. This is quite cool. This is that old cinematic countdown timer. Okay, let's stick with this green squiggly thing for now. And let's just have a look at that. Okay, yep. So if I click tap, there we go. So that is now in my triangle quad because I had my triangle quad selected when I um, imported content. So if I click beat, they're selected. So these can respond to music or to certain sounds. Screen mask, again, I'm going to go into in a little bit more detail. I can play with the color transparency and so on and so forth. Now I'm still working in the base layer because the base layer is the one selected. So when you look at your content, which is the little image and the play icon at the top, you'll see base layer is in blue. So that's the one I'm working in at the moment. Now I'm working in the beat layer, but I don't have it selected, but you'll see what happens here. So every time it picks up a sound or the bass, the mid and the treble, you can see that the icon starts to fluctuate at the bottom and I can increase the sensitivity and so on. So let me just look at some more content for this. Oh, that's quite interesting, a bit spacey. Let's have a look at that. Okay, wonderful. So we have um, our spacey content inside of our square quad. We have our green squiggly content in our triangle. Let's find one for our circle then. Oh, this purple thing looks interesting. Okay, so that's looking quite interesting. I'm liking the contrast between the three quads. So if I just click the button in the top left corner, this is my preview mode. So this is what I'll see when I play. I can also record that as you can see. I can also stop that recording. So guys, this has been a quick introduction to content. There will be more. So hang in for the next session and I'll see you there.